Hello everybody, I'm Brother Neuro and it's time for the Neuro Clock News. Hit it! Oi! I said oi! Oh, what you looking at, you little rich boy? With poor red hair, don't man no more. You could get rock, rock, you could get rock for real. Oh yeah, because my man is ill. Oh, because my man is ill. For real, for real, for, for real. Yeah, you know my man. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after a few, uh, I think we can say, eventful and hectic weeks on this channel, I'm pleased to say, finally, normal service can resume and we can crack on and roll with the punches. I know there are other people who would like this to continue, but we're not going to give them the satisfaction. We've done it, we've done our bit, we're done, we're dusted, we're off, let them deal with it. Now, this is a very special episode of the Neuro Clock News, and of course, they're all special. But this one's kind of different, because normally I talk about stuff that I've seen online, stuff that's related to the news. It's not so much news as stuff, just stuff that's happened that I've seen. Because normally, when I'm looking for specific news stories, what I like to do um, is I like to go onto uh, Google News, and then I type in certain keywords so that those stories related to that will basically come up into the feed. And a couple of, about a week or so ago, for no reason that I could, for, just popped into my head for, for some reason, I decided to type the word into Google News search, YouTuber. And I was then greeted with just an endless stream of the kind of stuff that ends up on the news around the world about us here on YouTube. So I thought I would, you know, just give you as big a sampling as I could about the kind of things that make it into the news around the world about what goes on over here on little old YouTube. Now, one of the things that is a running theme for this is how most of these stories brought out a huge amount of bitterness in me because not only are all of the people who are in these news stories hugely successful YouTubers with millions of subscribers, not only that, but I ain't heard of fucking barely none of the cunts. There's like two that I fucking heard of before, right? And those are the and of those two or three, I wish I hadn't fucking heard of them in the first place. I knew I was in for a hell of a treat when this was the first news story that I clicked on. YouTuber Ali Law charged with stealing cup of tea. You think no? We, this little corner of YouTube. Like, we hear about a couple of injustices when, like, Milo's blue tick or someone gets suspended from Twitter. Wait till you hear some of the crap that goes on on this fucking website. The people who actually make fucking videos, right? This guy has been arrested, and not only is he charged with stealing a cup of tea, this is a story, as you can see, from February of this year. But he stole the cup of tea in 2017! Ali Law, who has some 2.4 million subscribers, or as I like to say, Coughlin to the power of a thousand, was arrested at Gatwick Airport following the alleged theft at Snow Zone in Milton Keynes. He claimed he was bundled off a flight by 20 police officers. What kind of tea was this, right? The 21-year-old... Right, he's 21. When I started making YouTube videos, this cunt was 10 years old. The 21-year-old pleaded not guilty to theft of a hot beverage of value unknown. Is there a better crime you've ever heard to be charged with? He's due in court on March 25th. That's in three days, so I'll, keep, I'll make sure to update you. During a short appearance in court, was told Mr Law, who is famed for his free climbing stunts... Oh, he's one of, you're one of these cunts, are you? Just trespassing on people's property, hanging from a giant crane and scaring the shit out of people at me. I legitimately fucking hate videos like that. Right? Denied he had been trespassing at the indoor skiing centre when the alleged theft happened. So you were trespassing and you nicked a cup of tea, mate. You don't do that in Britain. But if you think that was good, check this one out. YouTuber shot while filming security guard outside synagogue. Again, some fucking jammy bastard who's fucking th a third of my age who I've never heard of, right? YouTuber Zoe Perez, spelt with an H and an I, who goes by Furry Potato, is that a sex thing? I don't know, right? Began live streaming the encounter after the guard drew a gun. This was at a synagogue, uh, this was outside Los Angeles Synagogue and High School, right? He said, he said, if I moved, he's going to shoot me dead. 
right? And this is the LAPD. I wouldn't fuck around on it. Perez says, after several minutes of filming, a shot is fired. And Perez shouts, fucker shot me. They fucking shot me. Fucker shot me in the leg. I've been shot. Fuck. It's good everyone stop getting shot. <laughs> Perez is part of a community of YouTubers known as First Amendment Auditors who film themselves interacting with cops and visiting government locations with the stated goal of holding the government accountable and educating Americans about their rights. You go, you, you, you film policemen and security guards and that's it. And now you've been shot. I mean, I'm not defending it, but... What have you achieved here? It's not just the SJWs and the fucking anti-SJWs who bang on about freedom of speech. Here's another story. Lo local YouTuber speaks out after conviction. Uh, the latest now on a local YouTuber arrested by San Antonio police and convicted of disorderly conduct. He's now coming forward to defend himself. Jesus Padilla, known as Mexican Padilla. You, your name is Jesus and you changed your first name. If you've heard of these cunts, please let me know. I want to know I'm not alone here. On YouTube said he was exercising his First Amendment right to record officers. It's called cop watching. Can I recommend a, di a much more sort of a hobby that is fraught with less fucking problems than this? Train spotting, bird spotting, heroin, cocaine, anything. Wanking into a flannel, wanking in a bush, right? Just do anything. This seems to not be... What do you get of this? Do you collect bullet wounds? Now, of course, Zoe Perez and Jesus, P Madi P Jesus Madia, you know, didn't get off too lightly with the police. Um, however, but now we come on to a story, another story about a YouTuber who was arrested, but don't worry, this guy was white, which as you know means he was released after arrest during a non-violent protest. Yes, this guy, Jack Harries. This story is, su this is where it starts, the, the story start, started weakening out, and I know, because after those first few, I thought, well, this is a bit, this is spicy stuff. I haven't heard of any of this fucking crap going on. But this is when you realise, actually, those are the unique, what, those are the unique cases. This is his story. He is a, he's an activist, uh, and he's an, he's a unique activist for the internet, because he's one of these activists who actually goes out of his house and does stuff in the real, like, actually active, act, get, he is actually active. He's not just tweeting stuff with hashtags and shit. He's actually active, right? Apparently, Jack, a filmmaker, 25, has been arrested for a non-violent protest at, Int at INT Petroleum Week, International Petroleum Week, where oil and gas industry leaders plan to extract more fossil fuels, fu fuels contributing to mass genocide. Whose act was more criminal? Well, apparently yours, mate, because, you know, you know, I'm, I'm all for, I'm all for the, you know, protecting the environment, mate, and all that other stuff, but saying that the people, saying that the uh, people at International Petroleum Week are committing genocide, that's a bit of a stretch there. Officers attended and discovered a number of people had glued themselves to the windows. Here, yeah, take that one, Laura Luma. Oh, I'm handcuffing myself to one door at Twitter. These motherfuckers stay super glued, gaffer taped and prick sticked, blue tacked their fucking net bol bollocks to the fucking windows, my friend. Five people have been arrested on suspicion of offences including aggravated trespass and criminal damage. What do you mean, arrested on suspicion? Like, they were glued to the window. He was released after 12 hours without incident. So, in other words, nothing happened. Now, this one was a quite an interesting one because it has an overlap to a certain news story that uh, involving a YouTuber and uh, who said something that was considered anti-Semitic um, and got in trouble and arrested for, you know, pub publishing videos about it online. But this involves a different YouTuber. Despite the fact that the crime is the same and the accusation is the same, her defence is the same, you haven't heard anyone talk about her and, and, you, you sh and you think you would do. She's actually from the UK. She's actually from, from my, my area. She's from the Midlands. Here we are. Midlands YouTuber Alison Chabloz becomes first UK conviction over Holocaust denial. Ms Chablos from Glossop in Derbyshire was sentenced to 20 weeks imprisonment suspended for two years. Now this woman is, she did, she did songs about the Holocaust and Jews, her thoughts and opinions of them. Uh, she was found guilty on three charges relating to three self-penned songs uh, but she fought her conviction, her conviction for grossly offensive material online. The singer has previously defended her work as satire. 
saying many Jewish people find her songs funny. Of course, she can't find it. The number of Jewish people that she claims find her song funny has been grossly overinflated to what the actual number really is. Yeah, lyrics, some partly set to a traditional Jewish folk music, include did the Holocaust ever happen? Was it just a bunch of lies? Seems that some intend to pull the wool over her eyes. <laughs> Fucking Bernie Taupin right here, mate. You know. Yeah, the thing is about this, the reason why the satire thing didn't hold up is because, and the reason why you haven't seen the same uh, names and faces defending, you haven't seen, you know, Jonathan Pye or Ricky Gervais or, you know, Sargon or all of these other people, uh, you know, or Paul Joseph Watson defending uh, Miss Chablos here is because if you look at her work and her back and her back catalogue and everything, she actually literally is a Holocaust denying anti-Semite. Like she is like, she's a proper full blown Nazi. Like this is like, it ain't satire because these are actually her opinions. And yet, apparently, and because of that, now you would think freedom of speech, if it's all about freedom of speech, then surely everyone should be just as up as I'm. She, to count, he got an 800 quid fine. She got 20 weeks in prison. She's in the scrubs for 20 fucking weeks. Where's everyone banging on about? Oh, you don't want to, do you know why? Because you don't want to be seen defending someone who you know you cannot fucking deny is a fucking anti-Semitic, neo-Nazi, white supremacist, holocaust denier. Can ya? See, basically, your freedom of speech battle cries are full of shit. Because if you meant it, she would be getting top billing way ahead of Dankula. And speaking of Dankula, he, po he popped up in the story just after this, Nazi pug YouTuber, which is what... You're, he's going to be known as. I think it could be a great horse name in a Grand National. Nazi pug YouTuber could have bank account frozen. He was ordered to pay the £800 fine for the video, but he hasn't paid it. I mean, he must have got it. We know he's got it. Come on. Don't fuck around, mate. You, you are you refusing to pay it on principle? Are you refusing? Well, I mean, if you are, I salute you. Good, good on you, my friend. You know, or is it just, this is, is just you're in a Scotsman paying it. You don't want to fork it over. Who gives a shit? Now this next one is probably my favourite because as far as people within our little bubble here on YouTube, this is the biggest news story because I didn't even, I wasn't even looking for this, I just saw the headline, thought the Metro newspaper, clicked on it and saw this. Alt-right YouTuber shared vile sexual images of underage girls. And I'm like, right, I'm like, alt-right YouTuber. I'm like, wow. And I was trying to think, well, which one could that possibly be? A notorious YouTuber linked to the alt-right shared sexualized images of underage girls during a shocking live stream watched by thousands of people. Or as we call them, pedos. And wouldn't you know it, it's Andy Worski. And this is a screenshot right here. Look at the look on that man's face. You see, Andy made a textbook new bearer. Now take this from me. This is a pro tip from, 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 from Yoda, from the fucking Oracle around here. There are lots of opportunities you have on YouTube where you can be a bit of a vigilante and you can sort of play detective and you can you know, accumulate uh, very important and damning evidence that you can then pass on to the authorities. However, the one crime you don't want to do that with is when you suspect that someone somewhere on some website is running some kind of child pornography ring or some paedophile ring. You don't want to do that. Right, and Andy might you know, got in a lot of shit over this one because he basically said that he'd found some child porn on some social media, but I don't know why. And he and he'd undercovered this like this sort of like big you know network of pedos on the internet. I mean, in fact, he found paedophiles on the internet. How did he just go to Reddit? You'll probably find them find them on there fucking having an open just chat and discussion. But he went he went there, and the problem was. In order for him to get the evidence to prove and back up that he had found this, you know, network, sort of like secret network of uh, paedophiles exchanging pornography, he had to actually download and, you know, share images with people, which means that he has viewed, downloaded and distributed child pornography. That's stupid! 
Use your common sense. And so that's what, and so if you suspect that, don't go near it. Just contact them because that they're the people who are allowed to do that. If you collect evidence of child pornography on the internet, by doing so, you have t partaken in the downloading and distribution and the acquisition of child pornography. Therefore, you have broken the fucking law. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Right, but Andy, fucking genius, old fucking Columbo here. Oh fucking Hercule fucking pedo over here. A fucking Miss Marple, he didn't fucking know that. Y'all killing me with this I gave y'all 30 years of my friend. He didn't put two and two together, you dopey fucking prat. So next time, folks, don't down if you find if you come across what you suspect to be child pornography, flag it or pass it on to the crit. Don't download it and then share it with your mates on a live stream and show the images. I'm not a lawyer, but I have worked for one. My mind's telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yeah. Now, it was at this point that I have to admit that the stories uh, that were actually real uh, started to become incredibly kind of like really this is this is, is this is what is in the news because it's not just real big stories that make it no believe it or not even petty minutia YouTube drama that we all have ends up on YouTube a lot of it seems to involve this cunt called Jake Paul Jake Paul calls former Smosh YouTuber Anthony Padilla an imbecile in heated tweets we need this to be reported on, do we? I need to know this, do I? This is something you need to tell the world. First of all, there is no higher compliment I can think of than being called an imbecile by Jake Paul. That's like having Stephen Hawkins criticise your breakdancing skills. I'm actually more impressed with the fact that Jake Paul knows a word as big as imbecile. But Jake Paul seems to crop up in several of these. Right? He seems to do little else other than find ways to get in the news through fucking by harassing other people. There's this one here. YouTuber Jake Paul turns up at Mr. Beast's house uninvited and it's super awkward. Well, yeah, of course it'd be super awkward. If he turned up at my house uninvited, it would be... If he turned up... If Jake Paul turned up anywhere uninvited, it would be super fucking awkward because it's Jake Paul and he's the fucking unintelligible byproduct of incestuous baboon buggery and he turns up at someone's house. However, I'm pleased to report that thankfully, you know, uh, whilst in the uh, sort of YouTuber celebrity boxing matches that happened uh, last year, whilst Jake Paul, uh, you know, was uh, victorious in his bout, uh, that might not be the case, folks, because it appears some Jake Paul you know, he's pissed off the wrong motherfucker. Because, get this, Soldier Boy confirms fight with YouTuber Jake Paul will happen. Now, it just says fight. It doesn't say charity celebrity boxing match. Um, and to be fair, that photo of Soldier Boy, he doesn't look like he's aged well. And But, hey, if you want to get back in the game, if you want to if you want to re ingratiate yourself back into the good graces of YouTube, Smashing Jake Paul in the face with a fucking clenched fist or two is the best way to do it, I think. So go for it, soldier boy. Yeah, crank that. Is that what he did? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it f flossing. Is that what it... I'm too old for this shit. I have no context for this next headline because I didn't read the story. Because I don't want context. Because, you know, sometimes context just ruins it. YouTuber Shane Dawson apologises for disturbing joke about sexually abusing his cat. I mean, that's the story, isn't it? Now we're starting to get really desperate now. I mean, and I mean proper. You thought they were bad. Check this one. One of India's top political YouTubers says he's been banned for Facebook for Facebook for 30 days. So? So am I. I'm, I'm banned from Facebook for 30 days at the moment. Tell the cunt to sit down and wait. This is an Indian website. Is there nothing? Is there no more pressing issues in India right now? Fucking... Bloody hell.
popular YouTuber, Korean Englishman, takes down all videos with his with Jong Joon Yong, his close friend of 16 years. So YouTuber deletes videos. That's news, is it? That that's now news. YouTuber deletes videos news. But this might be the ultimate non-story. This might be the biggest non-story I've ever fucking read. YouTuber spots rare street parked Ferrari. So this news story is about a YouTuber who walked past a Ferrari that was parked in the street. And just in case you're wondering, it comes with the subheading just to tease you in. A little bit of a clickbaity thing here. What was a Ferrari F40 GTE doing parked on the street in Greenwich, Connecticut on a quiet Sunday evening? What do, you, what do you mean, what was it doing? Nothing! It's a parked car! It was waiting for the rich bastard to fucking, who fucking owns it to come back and drive it off somewhere! Car parked in street! Shocker! Man wears trousers outside! Person walks forward into shop! These are... This is where... Forget fake news! It's fake news ain't the problem, folks! It's non-news! It's news about fuck all! And for some bizarre reason, over the, there's, there was a load of drama involving channels, in, uh, involving uh, vegan drama, and vegan drama is proper fucking vicious, right? Right. You know, but this was involving two YouTubers. The first one is a, is a, 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 a young woman, vegan YouTuber, uh, apologises after she's caught eating fish. Say, I made a mistake. Not, not eating the fish, that wasn't the mistake. She meant to do that, right? Uh, she made a mistake in not telling people she was caught on camera uh, eating a bit of fish, and it was like called a fake vegan. And the reason she she start she was eating fish again is because uh, you know she's had health issues, uh, which resulted in many things other than including her period stopped stopped. Vegans can't be too shocked about it because if you've built an entire audience on you know and they're full of vegans, and you find out you've got to start eating meat. Not the most you know reasonable people all of the time. Time. But it weren't just her, it was another geezer, a uh, popular vegan YouTuber faces backlash after eating animal products. He, his vegan diet had led to various physical and mental problems including digestion issues, depression, brain fog, lack of energy and stiff joints. So he, try, he, he tried different diets including fruit and herb fast and high carb low fat diet. So he went on and he ate some eggs and some salmon. And, he, and that's what he's been told to eat so he can get better. Again, perfectly reasonable. But of course, he's getting fucking, he's getting caned and shit canned because, again, fucking vegans. And I don't want to seem like I'm busting on vegans because, believe me, on the, the other side of the extreme are even, are just as fucking, they're even worse if anything because at least vegans believe in something. But the people who are anti-vegans, and there's one particular geezer who is so anti-vegan, he's taken it to the next level. He's having an anti-vegan tour. He's having an anti-vegan movement. Right, and he's this cunt, and you, you might have heard of him. Now, his username is S S V 3 R I G E. I don't know if it's Sverige. Sverige. I don't have a clue how to pronounce stuff. It doesn't matter. Carnivore YouTuber plans anti-vegan tour across UK and Australia. Right, and it's basically, he's got like a, there's a couple of rooms in towns where he's got people who he knows that have got like a capacity of 30 where he said if you want to pop along it's hardly a mass it's hardly a tour really as such right but you know he's, he's but he's this big anti he, he goes to like vegan festivals or vegan food uh, markets and he wears he, he like with dripping meat and he has here's a t-shirt that says go vegan and die you might sit there and think well you know this guy well, you know, what's so wrong with this guy? You know, maybe he's passionate, maybe he's got a point. And I'm sure, I think you can pretty much take this guy very seriously, particularly when he uploads videos on other subjects like A Flat Earth is Common Sense or Flat Earth, 10 reasons why they want you to believe the Earth is a sphere. Why the Earth is a sphere? I tell you what, it is nearly a sphere. Your fucking airline, mate. Get that fucking thing sorted. Look at your pissing forehead, bruv. Jesus Christ, you just you stick a Cornish pasty on your head, you could go to a fancy dress party as a Klingon. But of course, you can't end a story. You can't do a story about YouTubers in the news without talking about the king of YouTube. Oh, by the way, yesterday apparently T Series overtook PewDiePie. Woohoo! Get in there. I'm not subscribed to either of them. Fuck them. Don't care. Right. But uh, the subscribe PewDiePie has been everywhere. Right. PewDiePie fans, I know you love your boy, 
and you want to do all you can, but please understand that you represent him now. And so, when you do things like this, fans of controversial YouTuber deface World War II memorial in Brooklyn. A World War II memorial. A World War II memorial, you know, presumably commemorating those soldiers who gave their lives in World War II, fighting for our side against who? Oh yes, the fucking no yeah. So don't deface a World War Two memorial. Yeah, PewDiePie has enough issues and enough people who suspect he's got he's got you know he's got white supremacist, white nationalist, neo-Nazi alt-right leanings, without you defacing the f a fucking you know a, a war memorial. So just so just don't do it. You don't need. He doesn't need that shit on his. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, fuck it. Just you know, spray paint the motherfucker. Go on, just go, go take, go, go do it. You know, go on. Might as well. Fuck it. At this point, you can't get bigger than that, can you? But if you want any more stories, if you want me just to put the cork on this shower of shit, the the point when I had to stop was when I came across an article talking about who the YouTuber who was the highest earning YouTuber of 2018. It just said. Who was YouTube's highest earner in 2018? And it's this fucker. Ryan Toys Review, the seven-year-old who was named as the richest YouTuber of 2018, is set to launch his own Nickelodeon series. <sighs> and if I get hold of him, he'll be going in the meat grinder. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dick Coughlin. This has been the New O'Clock News. Now, next month, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be going to Stirling in Scotland to t finally attempt to complete, I'm entering and going to complete the Great Stirling Marathon, 26.2 miles, all fucking, all of my 40 year old crippled ass is going there, Marathon Mong is doing it, but, right, so for the, I, I won't, I'll set up a Just Giving page, I won't start sharing that until April 1st, and for all of April, I'll only be taking donations and accepting money from people for that. Right, which means I won't be accepting donations for myself. So because of that, I've got to make the most of the next few days that I've got because I need to make sure that I can get through the, get through this, uh, get through the month of April. So down below in the in the in the uh, in the link below, ladies and gentlemen, is either is my PayPal. If you would like to give me something, if you enjoy these videos, you enjoy what I do here, you think I deserve a little bit of recompense for what I, for the suffering and the misery that I'm put through, then please go and put some money in in the PayPal down there, or you can. Go to my Patreon, or you can go to my uh, buy buy some lovely T-shirts down at my uh, T-shirts or merchandise down at my uh, merchandise. Store. I'll be putting some new designs up there later. Uh, but other than that, anything you give is greatly appreciated and is desperately needed. And uh, and next month it will all be going uh, it'll all be going through to the charity, which is the British Motor Neuro Dise Neuro Dise Neuron Disease Association. Other than that, folks, I'll be back with another video as soon as possible. My name's Dick Coughlin. Good night, may God be less, and where there's no sense, there's no feeling. Seven years old, you little cunt! Oi! I said, oi! Oh, what you looking at, you little rich boy? With poor, round hair, don't man no more. You could get rock, rock, you could get rock, oh, real. Oh, yeah, because my man is ill. Oh, because my man is ill. More rip for 